you were set to fight Drew as an undercard in the main event between Lamar Odom versus Aaron Carter. Celebrity boxing match happening June 12th at the Showboat Hotel in Atlantic City. Tell me more about this fight. Your fight. Uh... What it is to tell you, I mean, I don't know too much about this guy. I mean, I, I met him, well, not physically. I physically met him, but uh, for like fun in the face off or whatever. So I don't really like know him like that or whatever. And it's like, it's just a blessing just to like, just, I, I, I just, just to be doing what I'm doing. How did this happen? Uh, they hit me up, uh, uh, Dana, uh, from Celebrity Boxing or whatever. See, I was supposed to be, uh, I supposed to be doing some shit with, uh, Zab Zuda and them or whatever. And way before, way back before, before all this right here, you know, I had signed with, uh, Island Fights in Florida or whatever, and I ended up going to prison. And, uh, my whole little deal or whatever, they kind of, like, Fucked me over and all this shit right here, whatever. I ended up going to prison and this and that, and I came home. Shit wasn't going right, this and that, this and that, and long story short or whatever, I ended up, uh, Damien, he ended up hitting me up. He was like, uh, I can put you on the car. What's going on? I was like, uh, what to consist on, this and that, this and that. And he was like, well, we can do this, we can do that, uh, the guy that uh the guy the Jew the Jew guy or whatever he was like he don't have a big following this and that but he's a uh a MMA fighter or whatever and uh it's just like a boxing match or whatever and he can put him on the card and this and that this and then I was like let's run it you feel me because at this time like I'm coming in off a fucked up ass deal you feel me like a bogus ass contract. This and that, I'm going through like civil lawsuits and shit and all this shit right here. So it's like, like just like working this internet and just being green to like the social media type shit and like really trying to learn this shit on your own. Now it's like, okay, anything that's gonna give me the publicity or just put me back in the light as of like, where I can like tell my story, like just like, just not just sitting in the studio, like just putting this project together, like, Shit like this right here, I need this. So it's like, yeah, of course, put me on the court. So it wasn't really like a money thing. It was like, I got some approval type shit, you feel me? Like niggas need to know like what's really going on and this and that, this and that. So I pretty much set shit up into into a sense of where I can like get back into like in front of the right people cameras to let people know what's going on, this and that, this and that. And that's how that started. But like yeah, big ups to Damien. Like he, he called me. He he put it together. Speaking of money, what is the purse for you in this fight? I'd rather not to talk about it. I respect that. Financially, do you have to come out of pocket for anything in regards for this fight? Nothing. What's your history with the sport of boxing itself? Me, I never, I never, I never been a, I mean, yeah, I never been a boxer. Like, I never been, like, in the ring, pay-per-view, like, fighting, like, fighting on TV and all this shit. But, like, I've been a fighter all my life. That's all I've been doing. Like, that's how I was raised coming up, fighting and this and that, this and that. So it's, like, it's, I just look at it now that I can, like, I can get, like, I'm getting paid for it and it's, like, Fuck it, let's do it. When you said you were growing up as a fighter, you're talking about illegal fights, you're talking about no gloves. Yeah, I'm just talking like just school fights, uh, little different games, say happen like just back and forth with my little brothers, cousins and shit, like just coming up fighting. Like, nigga know how to take a lick, nigga know how to get a lick, you feel me? Like, that's all it is. Never been in the boxing ring, never had the gloves on. Never. This will be your first time. Yes. So right now you're zero and zero. Zero and zero. Who is your trainer for this bout? Red Jones. How'd y'all link? 
Rajon from my city, like he the uh he the legend, you know. Florida is like that's what we do. Like we just that's what we do with some fighters, with some dogs. Like Rajon, he's a he's a legend. They know it. Everybody know. Like he the only guy that ever like did what he did in like in every weight class. Like it's yeah, it's definitely. And what city are you referencing here? Pensacola, Florida. When it comes to Roy Jones training you, is this something that celebrity boxing sets up? Nah. Only thing celebrity boxing do, it puts you on the card. And uh, pretty much, like, they they promote it. You set it up or you promote it and you get your own sponsor. Or, like, I ain't going to necessarily say your own sponsor, but, like, yeah, so much shit you like not have to do, but like it's just like just bringing in, like I said, like coming in, not signing no deal or not just signing papers with celebrity boxing or whatever. So it's like I'm not signing with you, but I'm gonna take what you got, and then like if I can do this on the extra to bring another ten grand in, I'm gonna do that. So it's like it's on that type of time. It's like just really like hustling, like. But they don't set you up with a trainer. They don't take care of that. That's on your own. Yeah, that's, yeah. So how would you get Roy to train you for this? Is this something you ask him, he asks you to be a part of? How does that work? I mean, I just I just hit him up in the, I just hit him in his DM, and I was like, uh, this and that, this and that, you feel me? And who I was, and like, I've been, like I said, I've been knowing him, knowing of him, I done met him a few times in life or whatever. And like, when I had, uh, first went viral or whatever, I always had his number and whatever, so I used to like talk to him like on and off. And like when it was like, cause like I said, I was finna, uh, I had the island fights down there, it's like a big thing now, but like when I signed to that or whatever, she had like kind of like blew up kind of like, so I was already into like the little fight thing, but I just never like followed through with it or whatever until like now. So it's like, when I hit him up, I was like, bro, like I'm finally finna, uh, like really got some shit set up where I'm finna get in the rain, this and that, this and that. I need a little spot to train at and I need a jam and this and that, that. He sent me the gate code, his number and shit, like keys to the jam and like, like whatever, like just pull up, do what you do, we gonna do what we do, like. He didn't have any reservations about it. He was open from the start. From the start, like, let's go, let's get it. Like he never hesitated. He. Like I say, he sent me the gate codes, the, the gate code. I came in and he he came pulling up on the uh, he came pulling up on this little golf cart shit, like from fucking with the chickens and shit. So yeah, that's what he do though. He love that sport, like of course, of course he gonna like yeah. And then what about as far as finances with his training and his help? What you mean? Charge you for this? Is nah, that... nah. He don't. He don't. He don't charge nothing. Like if he, if he like believe in you, he fucks with you. Like he gonna. He not gonna hold nothing back, and he gonna, and he gonna sit in your chest with, it and he gonna make sure you soak it up. How has he? How has he been as a trainer for you thus far? Oh, he the best. Like I done, I learned, you know, I learned a couple of things. I know how to move definitely a bit. I, you feel me? Like from foot in my stance and a lot, a lot, a lot. You taking it easy on you? You going hard on you? I mean, I mean, he, he make it fun. So, I mean, I don't know if it's hard or easy because it's like it's, at the end of the day, it's fun. It's like you, you enjoy doing it. like you in the gym. It's like you dancing type shit. It's like you fun. It's fun. This fight you have with Drew. How many rounds is this bout? Uh, I want to say what four, two minute round, three minute round, something like that. <coughs> I don't know. I just, I just, you feel me? Boom, boom. Let's get it done. And I just know when the fight they did. Now, for time reference, it's May 1st. The fight is June 12th. Are you ready? 
physically right now, <laughs> I'm, I am, but I still, I'm still training. You feel me? I'm still like, I'm still like, yeah, I'm, I ain't sleeping on, I, I'm not sleeping on the guy, but yeah, I'm not, I ain't been like full force like I, I should have like the last two, two and a half weeks or whatever because I had shit that I had to go out and do and shit and I was different flights, different places. Different places dealing with the fights. I had to do the face off. I had to go over here and do this. I had to do that. I had to come down here and do this. So, like, fun than that, that's like the only time, like, when I say, like, I haven't been, like, full effect in the gym or doing what I'm supposed to be doing, like, fun and training because I have dates and you feel me? I have an interview and shit side up. So, yeah. You have a prediction for this fight? Yeah, yeah. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Two. Second round, 30 seconds into the second round, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like knock him out. When it comes to boxing, some have died from this sport. Is that a concern for you? Who died from this sport? Uh, well, if I research it, it's <laughs> several people. How they, I mean, what, they got hit the wrong way? I'd have to give you the facts nah, on it. Nah, it's, nah, nah, nah. I don't, I, it's, you can't, I mean, you probably, they probably had some type of brain damage from over the years type shit on some Mama Hot Lee type shit and went crazy type shit. I don't think, hell nah, I ain't worried about a nigga hit me, I'm dying. I can't fall no wrong way. It ain't nothing in the rain you can fall and hit your head no type of way to like, nah. That's the least thing I'm worrying about. Oh, hell no. Nah. Now, what about this? Lamar Odom versus Aaron Carter. What's your prediction on that fight? The main event. <laughs> the fight after your... <laughs> me, personally? I feel like... Me, I'm just being... I'm just being... I'm just being me. And I know it's the truth. But, like, a lot of folks might disagree or whatever, but fuck it. I'm finna say it. I really think my my fight is the main event just because of who I am. And I feel like they put them two as the main event because of who they is, like for in their name and their history or, and what they got going on and like from like their career. You see what I'm saying? But like by me knowing and seeing this in my in my own eyes and like like I said, this is my first time doing all this like press conference, like face off and all this shit. I ain't, I ain't never like just pulled up and jumped out of the car and like every passerati over here, you got a newsstand, you got people on the interview over here, you got, I never did that. Like, and, and when I hit the corner, it was like, that's what it was. Now don't get me wrong, like Lamar Odom, like the uh, that's my guy, Aaron Carter, that's my guy and all that. But like, when I hit the scene, it was like, everything was on me and it was like, just that fight period, I think is like, I ain't underestimating Aaron Carter, and I don't know what Lamar Odom got going on, but I, I say both like real life and the world know they junkies. Not necessarily junkies, but druggies, like, you feel me? Like, you battling a fucking drug addiction, you on the same thing, you feel me? And it's like, but I come in, I got motherfucking <laughs> and niggas like say this and say this but like damn like it's crazy but yeah that's the internet but yeah but yeah yeah I feel like I feel like they just did that just because of their names okay you got 10 million screens and you was a, a NBA all scar three times or whatever champion or whatever however you want to look at it I feel like that's what that was, like me personally, but I like both of them guys, like they they both homies, like yeah, me and Aaron Carter, we got we got we got music together, we finna like we finna start doing this shit. So it's like I ain't got no problem with none of them. I just feel like I feel like that's why they sought it up like that. But yeah, I think my fight and the high setup, I think I'm like gonna be all eyes on, like, I got them. Aside from your fight, though, 
just their fight. Lamar Odom versus Eric Carter. Who do you think is going to win? What's your prediction? I don't mean personally. I don't even think that fight going to go. I don't even think it's going to happen. But, like, if I had to choose, I said, look, I'm a, it got to be Lamar Odom. Why? Just because it's just, if you just want to be on some shit, how they look at it, it's a big advantage. Lamar was, what, 7'6". He got, what, a 10 feet arm um, distance reach on him. And car, what, 5'4". You feel me? Like, how? How? But then you got me coming in. I'm I'm six. You got you got my guy five eleven. I'm one eighty five, one ninety. You got my guy. He won eighty one, eighty five. You feel me? Like what's the difference? You feel me? Is it's not no bigger. It ain't no big difference right there. You feel me? It's like you can almost like yeah. So like it just. Digging that okay, I like Lamar Odom. And that's what it is. When it comes to music with Aaron Carter, you've got something recorded already or it's just been talking about? I got some shit like low-key recorded. How did that happen? Like I said, like my first time ever meeting him was at the face off. Shook his hand, we took pictures or whatever. He got in my ear, it was like Let's work. And we changed numbers or whatever. And it went from there. You both personally, in person, worked in the studio together? Or is it more like trading sessions? Emailing sessions? Uh, well, we did, we do, we did, we doing the first track, like, on, over, like, the email session, only only because, like, I have shit set up and he got shit set up for the fight and all this, and, and it's around the same time. We fighting on the same day and all that shit. That's the only reason. But, like, we recording or whatever, but we do have plans on, like, shooting the videos and doing all this together at one time. So it's like, yeah. Care to share the name of the song? Nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put it out there yet. Anything else you want to say in regards to this fight? I asked you all my fighting questions. Nah, team wide neck, four way, and let's make it run.